Hi, my name is Bassan Philippe Mogerbel, and I'm a member of a research group of cell therapy and biotechnology in regenerative medicine department at the Lepichen Principe Institute. The article title Fluorescence Properties of Curcumin Loaded Nanoparticles for Cell Tracking could contribute with the post transplant cell tracking research area. It's known that post transplant cell tracking via stem cell labeling is a crucial strategy for monitoring and maximizing benefits of cell based therapies. The principal aim of this article was use the curcumin loaded nanoparticles as a tracking probe for transplanted cells in vivo. Unloaded and curcumin loaded nanoparticles were prepared and characterized before the in vitro experiments. Vero cells scanning electron microscopy were done to evaluate the nanoparticles in suspension and interaction with the cell membrane. Vero cells were submitted to cytotoxicity and fluorescence identification of both curcumin loaded nanoparticles and unloaded nanoparticles. As we can see in the graphic, it was not observed significant difference between the control group, curcumin loaded nanoparticle and unloaded nanoparticle groups. Cells were incubated with curcumin loaded nanoparticles for 72 hours washed and then fluorescence was observed for 8 days. These results were essential for the in vivo studies. Adipose derived mesenchymal stem cells were isolated from rats, characterized by flow cytometry, and then cultured and incubated with curcumin loaded nanoparticles. For the in vivo studies, these cells were transplanted in rat myocardial infarction and sciatic nerve crush models. They were also used for the in vivo fluorescence identification after subcutaneous injection. After seven days of transplantation, infarcted hearts and sciatic nerve slides were made for histological analysis. The mesenchymal stem cells with curcumin loaded nanoparticles can be identified in images A and B for its bright green fluorescence. In images C and D, it can be observed the cells with nanoparticle clusters in the infarcted area. In conclusion, our in vivo and in vitro studies show the potential use of curcumin loaded nanoparticles as a cell tracking probe for transplantation. This finding suggests a promising strategy of using curcumin loaded nanoparticles as markers for stem cell tracking and constitute a step forward in cell therapy applications. Further studies may be necessary to improve fluorescence methodology and ensure safety. Thanks for watching this video.